precious in the sight of God is the death of his saints. Psalm 116 verse 15. Huretta Hugh Allison Roach was born on beautiful Nassau at the Bahamas General Hospital on May 15, 1935. Growing up on Young Street, humble beginnings, he experienced grief at the tender age of four when he witnessed his mother die as a result of pneumonia. He received his primary education on the islands of Nassau, Exuma, and Abaco under the watchful eyes of iconic Bahamian educators such as T.G. Glover, H.O. Nash, Carlton Francis, and many others. Hugh was a diligent student and demonstrated his academic prowess when he passed the Junior Cambridge Certificate at the age of 15 and the Senior Cambridge Certificate at 16. Inspired by his favorite school teachers, Hugh followed in their footsteps and attended the Bahamas Teachers Training College, and upon completion, he taught in the government school system for a brief while. Hugh grew up with Baptist and Anglican influences, but after accepting the teachings of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, he was baptized and shortly thereafter entered denominational work with the Bahamas Mission of Seventh-day Adventists as a teacher in 1954. A year later, he matriculated to the Canadian Union College, now Berman University, in Alberta, Canada, to earn a bachelor's degree in theology with minors in education and history in 1959. After returning from Canadian Union College, he was asked to serve as principal of Bahamas Academy, becoming the first Bahamian to do so. Hugh embraced the opportunity to be principal, a role he filled for nine years while simultaneously serving as director of education, Sabbath school, and lay activities at our Seventh-day Adventist Mission Conference headquarters. While serving as principal, he married Olga Rookwood on August 29, 1961. He then used the summer months to pursue and upgrade his education, and in 1963, he completed a master's degree in education administration from Andrews University, Barron Springs, Michigan. Meanwhile, his endeavors as a minister of religion continued, and in June of 1962, Hugh was ordained as a Seventh-day Adventist pastor. Pastor Roach was an outstanding orator, and he used his gift of speech to the honor and glory of God. Readings from the Book of Psalms, the Authorized King James Version. Psalm number four. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. Thousands of individuals accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, and many of them were baptized as members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Over the years, he had the opportunity to minister in several countries, including, but not limited to, Bermuda, Jamaica, Canada, throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the United States of America. Pastor Roach has had a stellar career within the Adventist Church. He has served in many departments and became president of the Bahamas Conference in 1980 and served two consecutive three-year terms. He was not only devoted to his church, but also contributed greatly to civic society. He served on the Sandilands Welfare Committee, Executive Director of the International Commission for the Prevention of Alcoholism and Drug Dependency, member of the National Task Force on Drugs, Central Advisory Committee for Education, Community Services, Ministry of Housing, National Drug Council, member of the Juvenile Panel, Justice of the Peace, Chaplain of the Senate, and Chaplain of the House of Assembly. Additionally, this outstanding Bahamian clergyman was selected among the few to be awarded the Honorary Doctor of Divinity degree from the BWR Ministries and Seminary in Richmond, Virginia on December 11, 2000 at Westminster College, Blake Road, Nassau, Bahamas. On May 22, 2003, he received another prestigious award when he was made an Officer of the Most Excellent Order 
of the British Empire at the government house. His greatest accomplishment, on the other hand, was in 2004 when Dr. Hugh A. Roach was recognized for 50 years of Christian ministry. In spite of his humble upbringing and the numerous tragedies of life, Pastor Roach felt that he was indeed called by God and he took this calling seriously. And even though he acquired many accolades, Pastor Roach's greatest desire was to see Jesus and to meet him in the air. Left to carry on his legacy are his beloved wife, Olga, son, Hubert, and daughter, Opal, along with their families and a host of extended family members and friends. Yeah.